Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the third Sunday of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Alfredo Rollon Jr. SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. And all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. As can it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Now can it shall be opened unto you. We come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers. Good afternoon, Father. Today's gospel is a recall of Jesus appearing to his disciples, gathering them once more, and reminding them of their call as disciples of Jesus. Every time we gather together, Jesus is also present in our means. And may we take that challenge to live a life of true disciples called by God to love and serve Him through His people. And so, sisters and brothers, we now call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. As we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Ang mga 
Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the captain and the court officers had brought in the apostles and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have fulfilled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than man. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as a leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismiss them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of his name. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For you drew me clear, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. <laughs>
and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give thanks to you. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number, and they cried out in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea. Everything in the universe cry out. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be a blessing and honor, glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand as we honor the Holy Gospel. is risen, creator of all. He has shown pity on all people. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord at the sea of tiberias jesus showed himself to the disciples once again this is how the appearance took place assembled were simon peter thomas the twin nathaniel from cana in galilee Zebedee's sons, and to other disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going out to fish. We'll join you, they replied, and went off to get into their boat. All through the night, they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus was standing on the shore, though none of the disciples knew it was Jesus. And he said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? Not a thing, they answered. Cast your net off to the starboard side, he suggested, and you will find something. So they made a cast and took so many fish, they could not haul the net in. 
Then the disciple Jesus loved cried out to Peter, It is the Lord. On hearing it was the Lord, Simon Peter threw on some clothes. He was tripped and jumped into the water. Meanwhile, the other disciples came into the boat, towing the net full of fish. Actually, they were not far from land, no more than a thousand yards. When they landed, they saw a charcoal fire there with the fish laid on it and some bread. Bring some of the fish you just caught, Jesus told them. Simon Peter went aboard and hauled ashore the net loaded with sizable fish, 153 of them. In spite of the great number, the net was not torn. Come and eat your meal, Jesus told them. Not one of the disciples presumed to inquire, Who are you? For they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came over, took the bread and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This marked the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after being raised from the dead. Then, when they had eaten their meal, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know that I love you. At which Jesus said, feed my lambs. A second time, he put his this question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know that I love you. Jesus replied, tend my sheep. A third time, Jesus asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because he had asked a third time, do you love me? So he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know well that I love you. Jesus told him, Feed my sheep. I tell you solemnly, as a young man, you fastened your belt and went about as you pleased. But when you are older, you will stretch out your hands and another will tie you fast and carry you off against your will. What he said indicated the sort of death by which Peter was to glorify God. When Jesus had finished speaking, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers. If you will look at the elements of the gospel reading for today, pwede nating sabihin na parang may mga elemento rito na nangyari na in the past. May mga, may mga dialogue, may mga actions na nangyari na in the past. May isang tao na parang gustong bumalik sa dati niyang buhay. See here, look at those present in this gospel. Those who were called by Jesus, first batch of apostles called by Jesus, andyan si Peter, andyan si Thomas, andyan si Nathaniel, at si James and John, the son of Zebedee. You go into earlier part of some gospel, the gospel according to St. Mark, for example, Jesus called them while they were fishing. They were considered as masters of the sea. A work, though seen by others as quite difficult, but for them, probably they find it very comfortable to go fishing because that's what they do for a living. And in this scene wherein Jesus 
had already risen from the dead, here comes again these characters. Si Peter, mangingisda ulit. And then, they went on to the shore. After the whole night, wala silang nahuli. O oh, diba, meron din ganitong event noon eh. When Jesus asked them to go back to the sea, and only after that, that they caught two boats load of fish. And then, here, nung marinig ni Pedro na ang naandoon ay si Jesus, si Kristo, anong ginawa niya? Tumalun siya sa tubig. Why? Because he was lightly clad. In other translations, it is he's naked. Probably, no, wala siyang pantas. Siguro meron lang siyang balabal sa pambaba. Naked. The image of being naked is seen as image of shame. In Genesis, when God was looking for Adam, sa nakita ng Diyos, nagtatago, nahihiya. Dahil siya'y hubad. In the garden when Jesus was arrested, a young man was seen fleeing from the scene naked. Jesus was stripped naked to shame him. And so Peter was there, realized that there must be something wrong here. Not only that he was naked, but also that he was going to the life he has before. And eventually, Jesus called him, invited the disciples, shared the bread, shared the fish, parang multiplication of the bread and the fish once again, Reminding them of who is this present in their midst, Jesus. And then, Peter was asked for a confession. This time, Peter expressed what is in his heart. Though he was saddened by the times Jesus asked him, probably reminding him of the times that he denied Jesus in front of others. Parang mga naulit, parang may gustong ulitin. And by bringing them all together, Jesus extended once more his invitation to follow me. But this time, it's different. The Jesus who called them in the beginning was Jesus who rose from the dead. The Jesus who asked them to follow him was the Jesus who proved himself that he is God. And this time, more likely, Peter was ready. He was able now to understand who is this Jesus and why Jesus is calling them to catch men and women to be saved. And so, yung kantang, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. As lightly as it was composed, it makes sense that in following Jesus, there is indeed no turning back. Once we are changed, once we are saved. Ikaw, anong gusto mo pang balikan? 
Ano pa ang gusto mong gawin na mas komportable ka kaysa sa paglilingkod sa Diyos at sa kapwa? O magandang pagnilaya natin yan sa panahon ng pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. Sa panahon na ibinigay niya ang kanyang sarili. Sa panahon na pinatunayan niya na siya ay totoo at Diyos. Maganda ring balikan, maganda ring tingnan ang ating mga sarili bilang tagasunod. Ayan na, Jesus is still extending His invitation to follow Him. This time, maybe, we can make it more serious and we can really think about the life that we are living. Ang buhay ba natin ay worthy of a disciple heeding for this call of Jesus to follow Him. Amen. And now we profess our faith by praying, I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, we implore your gracious help that we may proclaim the death and resurrection of Jesus with St. Peter's bold conviction. In need and with joyful heart, let us pray, Lord, keep us in your love. Lord, keep us in your love. For the Church, the people of God, may we experience the power of the Resurrection, especially in times of weakness, trials, and great difficulties. We pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us in, in your love. love. For those who exercise authority and service in the government, may their love for Jesus continue to deepen and be a perennial source of inspiration and strength in their service to God's people, we pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us in your, in your love. love. For the upcoming elections, may everyone forsake the politics of money, fame, and patronage, and elect to office leaders who are competent, honest, and with a sincere desire to serve, we pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us in your, your love. love. For those who are burdened by sickness and sudden death of their loved ones, may the Lord give them protection, comfort, and strength to bear all things, we pray. Lord, keep us in your love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, keep us in your love. God, our Father, you restored us to yourself through the resurrection of your Son. Hear our prayers and strengthen us in giving witness to our Easter faith through Christ our Lord. Amen.
May dear friends, may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Makapangyarihan Puspos ng walhati Ang langit at lupa O sana O sana Sa kaitaasan Pinagpalang Narito sa ngalan Ng Panginoon O sana O sana Sa kaitaasan O sana O sana sa kaitaasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Si Cristo ay gunita sa dili ay ilihain bilang pagkait ni bilang sa saluhan natin ang kaw sa shay dumati. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held, held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesta, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Thank you. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptibility, incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for clean, honest, and peaceful elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord. Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver, Deliver us, us, Lord. Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of pers perspective. Deliver, Deliver us, us, Lord. Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver, Deliver us, us, Lord. Lord. Let us pray together. Let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear, Hear us, Lord. Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Hear us Lord. Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord. Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Hear us Lord. Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray all together. Shepherd, Shepherd of, of souls, souls and, and Savior, Savior of, of the nations, nations. politics is your gift to us, a call to, to serve others and grow in holiness. holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcement. Our schedule of Masses are as follows. Mondays to Saturdays at 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Confession every Saturday is 5 p.m. Con every Sunday is at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. And for those who would like to offer their Mass intentions during Sundays, you may approach Divine here at the sacristy. Thank you from Father Roni Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and follow the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God.